Good morning, Charleston, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show here on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Well, I'll tell you, sellers are dropping the asking price of their home left and right faster than we've seen in years. So are home values actually going down instead of going up? And I'll give you a quick hint. The only real way to answer this question is to have someone perform an analysis on your home, right? In your area, in your price range. So you can go online to listingsincharleston.com. You can book a free meeting with me and receive a complimentary analysis on the value of your home. And as well as it's set up on this website we have that's really cool. It actually it tracks the value of your home and will show you things like, hey, if you were to spend this much more on your mortgage payment per month, this is how many years you can shave off the life of your loan. It can show you how much you could rent for. We can perform rental analysis through that website as well. So listingsincharleston.com is the way to reach out to us or you can call or text me. 843-800-0065. That's 800-0065. So are you wondering why so many sellers are dropping their asking prices? If you're in the market, you've been searching for homes, you're, you're probably seeing this. You know, a lot of folks are saying that they're seeing the writing on the wall and are, I think as a result, seeking out the expert opinion uh, of agents in their respective areas to better understand what this means to them. So I want to dig into this today. Price reductions are increasing rapidly. I mean, nationwide, they're, they're going at a much more accelerated rate than they are here locally, especially on the West Coast and in parts of the Midwest. But in fact, compared to May, we've doubled the number of price reductions we've seen in our market, the number of people that are reducing the asking price on their house before they sell it. So in May, we had 865 price reductions in, in the Charleston Tri-County area. In June, it grew to 1153. In July, it grew to 1465. And then last month, we were at 1,629 price reductions. <laughs> One price reduction away from exactly double what we saw in May. We're also in the third straight month of decline locally when you look at the amount a, a home sells for compared to the asking price on average. So in other words, buyers have been able to knock more and more off of the asking price each month. In fact, the median sales price has actually gone down uh, three months in a row locally as well. So, so what does all of this mean? You know, are we witnessing the beginning of the housing bubble burst, so to speak? Well, here's the reality. So-called you know, tappable equity which is the amount a homeowner can borrow against their home while keeping a 20% equity stake in the property, has hit 10 consecutive quarterly record highs. As, the second quarter of, as, as of the second quarter of this year, we had $11.5 trillion nationwide in tappable equity. But a lot of the data is suggesting that, at least nationwide, this has, this has kind of topped out in May, which is ironic in that our local stats are kind of suggesting that maybe we've topped out in May. Declining uh, home values, by the way, in June and July um, brought the total amount of tappable equity that we have nationwide down about 5%. And, and given the weakening in the housing market since then, the third quarter, I think, of this year is going to show a much more sizable decline. We don't have access to, uh, obviously, August's numbers quite, quite yet. We will in the next few days once they get official. Um, and, of course, we still have to wait for September uh, before we can say what happened in the third quarter. But uh, I think homeowners right now are still very, um, they're sitting pretty. You know, they are, they are still far more flush than they were this time last year. And certainly compared to the last time the housing market went through a major correction. I mean, if you during the, the subprime mortgage crash, which really you know started to begin in 2007, obviously the, the subsequent Great Recession of 2008, home values were plummeting. I mean, there were some markets where 50% off of the value of their home from 2008 to 2011 was not uncommon. That's where I, I mean, I got licensed in 2006 as a, a 21 year old right out of college. And then, you know, about two years later is when the market crashed. But by 2009, I was in the one per, top 1% of agents in the market. I've been there ever since because 
I, I was a student of the market. I really studied where things were headed and where the opportunity was for my clients. Uh, and in many instances, how to get pet people out of really bad situations. I mean, I was dealing as uh, somebody in my mid twenties uh, with folks that were going through the roughest time they have ever experienced financially. Millions of people were underwater on their mortgages, owing more than their home was worth. Uh, I did a ton of short sales, uh, helped sellers out of those uh, really rough situations. Uh, I think I did about a hundred of those, many of which I negotiated personally. Uh, and then of course helped investors, became an investor, uh, and really kind of took advantage of some of the opportunities in the market. And so the, the, the reason I mention that is because that is not the case today. Current borrowers on average owe only 42% of their home's value on both their first and their second mortgages. It's the lowest leverage that we have had on record. So, so losing some value on paper, although no one likes to lose anything, <laughs> right? It really shouldn't affect those owners at all. You know, we're, we're just, we're nowhere near the negative equity rates that we saw during the, the Great Recession. And so uh, I, the, the, the advice that I would give for folks that are seeing all of these price adjustments and trying to read between the lines is to first and foremost, don't make the mistake of thinking that what's happening nationally is also what could be happening to you and, and your specific property. I mean, given the uncertainty and growing lack of confidence in the housing market, you really need an expert that can provide you with options that suit your needs, whether that's selling quickly for a cash offer or selling for top dollar through a really effective marketing campaign or you know maybe you need some creative financing or, or deal structuring you know we've got flexible commission plans as low as 2.4 percent incentives and, and creative approaches to help you sell your home based on your needs so when you're when you're seeing these homes as as a person that maybe tried selling a property uh, because you had something else that you were interested in, but by the time you got around to getting your home on the market, that home went under contract. Or maybe you were a person that had said, you know, hey, I'll, I'll sell if I can find something that is worth moving into, but there are so few options that I guess I'm just going to sit back and, and wait. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you that there are a lot of people that are taking advantage of what's happening in the market right now, I think on both sides of the fence. You know, sellers are finally starting to see some more options hit the market. Um, and the reality is, we're still in a seller's market. People are behaving uh, more like we're in a buyer's market right now, given the shift that we've seen over the course of the past few months. But if you've been a regular listener of this show, you know we've been talking about this for months. This, is not, this should not be a surprise to anybody that's a, a regular listener on the show. And I think part of the reason for that, and, and one of the things that I really enjoy and appreciate about this program, is my ability to help you understand what's happening behind the scenes. We, we are the person, the, the company that provides you with a pulse on the market before the data can prove it. And the reason for that is because of just the size of the team, the transactions we do, and the amount of conversations we have with people on a day-to-day -day basis. We can, I mean, we do a really good job of, of understanding what people are thinking and feeling that then creates the actions or inactions within a market. So. If you're thinking about buying a house and you're seeing all of these price reductions right now, I think it's only natural to, to think or assume that home values are going down. Well, in reality, yes, the data is going to say that we have had three consistent months of the median sales price being less than what it was the month before. There are, there are several factors that can play into that. Maybe we had a bunch of inexpensive properties that sold and not enough high-end properties that sold. Um, and, and we could argue between whether it makes more sense to use median numbers or average numbers, but the bottom line is there's still more demand than there is supply, but consumer confidence is iffy right now. So I, I want to talk about if you're going to sell your house, what are some strategies that you can use that, that make sense? I want to talk about a few different ways that you can position yourself to sell quickly and maximize the amount of check that you get at closing. And if you're a buyer, you know, there are plenty of properties out there right now. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to come back to this, but I'll give you a little sneak peek out of the 28 or out of the 2,800 homes or so that are on the market in Charleston right now, 
1,700 of them have been on the market for more than 30 days, which might suggest that a vast majority of properties on the market are a little overpriced right now, which is why you're seeing some of these price adjustments. Maybe it's not that prices are going down just yet. It's that people are getting more serious and more realistic about what their home can actually sell for. And so for all these folks that have had their home on the market for more than 30 days, the majority of listings that we have in our market, as, as we get closer to the holidays, they usually become more incentivized to negotiate. You know, they, they were hopeful, of course, that they would hit the market and get multiple offers like everybody else has gotten over the past few years. Um, but, and if that's not proving to be the case, then we need to look at what sort of strategy is being employed to ultimately sell that property, pricing being one function of that. So when we come back, we'll talk about how our real estate team incorporates these trends into everyday discussions with buyers and sellers. And if you want to reach out to us, if you'd like to get an update on the current value of your home, then reach out to me, 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Visit us online at listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. Or you can email me. Brian at BrianBeattyTeam.com. Stick around, folks, for more of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show right here on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com.